What is going on, Jerome's? So we're going outside the box, as we always do, and we're going to do a three-round Vikings mock draft with the caveat, with the scenario, if the Minnesota Fighting Vikings do trade Kirk Cousins to the Carolina Panthers for number six overall. Sexy time, right? So number six overall, future two, whatever. Uh, all, all that in the mix. Because Carolina's desperate, man. Like, Matt Rule needs to try and save his bacon. We'll, we'll see. And in our scenario, the Vikings pick up a bridge quarterback in free agency. Uh, they pick up Marcus Mariota. And also, they still obviously have Kellen Mond. So it is what it is. Vikings have number six and 12 overall. We want to go through what is going to go down. So uh, in, in our scenario, Evan Neal went one. Kyle Hamilton went two to the Lions, which uh, was outlined in Chris uh, Trapasso from CBS Sports' mock draft. I don't think it's that insane. Although Aiden Hutchinson is that dude. And Frankly, if the Vikings had 6-12, and 12, uh, I would be going from 6 to midnight, maybe trying to move up for Aiden Hutchinson. But, of course, he ain't getting away from the Jets. Well, Mark Gassino 2.0. Go ahead. Sticky Icky Iquanu uh, going to the Giants at 5. So now the Vikings are sitting there at 6, chilling. So even though we've had reservations about Thibodeau, I think that he could still be absolutely that guy. Charles Cross is there. Uh, although the problem, the issue is that the Vikings – we are team BPA, but drafting for need keeps you drafting for need. But the Vikings are good to go at tackle, right, with, with Derisaw and Brian O'Neill. And they're static positions. It's not like a defensive end or linebacker or whatever where you can have a rotation. I mean, you are there, right? So do you take Cross and kick him inside? Are you going to take a guard at six that's qu not Quentin Nelson? I don't know, man. Uh, Jermaine Johnson uh, is a guy that's really been rising up the board as well. Walker, Ojabo, this is a fantastic uh, edge class. Traylon Burks is there. So what are we going to do? Well, I want to do some more business because th that's what I do, man. So the Vikings, let's get the Eagles on the horn. I want, what is it going to take to grab some of those nice, nice picks? So six overall, Eagles, go ahead. Uh, would you be interested? Oh, they would be interested. Oh, can we get more? No, they can't have three. That's funny. Um, do we get an extra third round pick? We package a four. All right, so we're going to package uh, a fourth round pick as well as number six overall for 15, 16, and a third round pick. Okay. Okay. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Howie Roseman. Howard. Yeah, this ain't uh, Rick Spielman anymore. This is Quasi Adolfo Mensa. That's right. Uh, so we got a trade offer. The Bills are offering. No. So Brandon Bean, get out of here. Uh, so let's see what happened. So Jermaine Johnson, uh, uh, Thibodeau goes to the Eagles. Makes sense. Uh, Jermaine Johnson. So run on edge. Traylon Burks goes at 11. So the Vikings sitting at 12. I mean, Sauce Gardner is still there. And even though one quarterback is off the board, it, with Mariota and with Kellen Mond and rookie TBD, we're good to go there. So let, first off, let's review our picks. We're not trading with the Colts. So we got three ones. <laughs> Three ones, a two, and two threes. Okay. Okay. Let's go, man. So I'm. Which would I be more upset about? So I love David Ojabo. And it's a long ways till the next edge rusher. I like Sauce. I like Trent McDuffie, too. So e either one is going to be good to go there. So I'm going to go with Ojabo at 12. And if Sauce makes it to 15, we're taking him. Sauce did not make it to 15. He went to the Ravens. That's fine. So I'm taking Trent McDuffie uh, at 15. Now at 16, do we try to trade down again? Be hmm. Like, do we do a deal with the Lions? Because Linderbaum is there chilling. Kenyon Green. We probably maybe we'll get Zion Johnson later in the first round. Um, what, what, do we just go Jameis to Williams? God, that'd be sexy. G Dub is there. Yeah, so uh, uh, Traylon is off the board. Hmm. What, what do we do here? Well, let's try and cook up a little trade because we're having fun. It's fun Friday. What can you do? All right, Lions. Hey, Holmes. Brad Holmes. And uh, so they're not interested. Uh, can we add a fifth round pick? All right, so now they're getting. Uh, nah. All right, so should we just stick and pick? Yeah, we probably should. So this is a very deep wide receiver class. Definitely grab, or do we just take Kenny Pickett at 16? <sighs> I'm torn between Linderbaum and Kenny Pickett. I mean, you could probably get Desmond Ritter in the second round. But for me, Kenny Pickett is the top two quarterback in this class. Yeah, screw it. Screw it, screw it, screw it. So, ooh, sexy time. So 
Vikings have turned the number 12 overall pick and Kirk Cousins into David Ojabo, Trent McDuffie, and Kenny Pickett. I'm kind of okay with that. Plus, we three up thir- uh, $35 million in cap space. Uh, Giants are offering 36 for two and a five and a seven. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, crap. I should have. I should have. Ah, because my guards were there, man. All right, no. All right, so let's see who went where and why. Uh, let's see. Uh, Daniel Fulele going to the Packers. That sucks. Now I have to hate him. Uh, Kalaftis there. Nicobe Dean. Uh, Steelers didn't go quarterback. Uh, Saints getting Matt Corral. Lave Linderbaum fell all the way to 31. Uh, that sucks, but he's perfect for Cincinnati. Desmond went to Washington in the second round. Zion went to the Bears. Yeah, I should have taken that deal from the Giants. I, I wasn't thinking, but what can you do? So, it... Again, it is what it is here. So we're, we're sitting here chilling. Now what do we do? So Brisker is a fantastic talent. We could certainly go there. Um, we haven't dug into the offensive line yet. But also with our scenario, with $35 million in cap space freed up from Kirk Cousins' deal, maybe you go after James Daniels. Maybe you do go after Brandon Schur for Brian Allen, etc. cetera. Uh, so let's see here. To your offensive line, Ryan Kennard, Barham, Ed Ingram is a stud. So we could target Ingram a little bit later on. Let's see, tier defensive line. Travis Jones. Shit. Travis Jones. And Muma's there. Man. This is a beautiful time. Uh, do we double and triple down on cornerback? I mean, uh, Alam Kendrick's there. Woolen is there too. Sorry for swearing. I'm just really excited. I, I'm going to go brisker. When's our next pick? I'm into you. I'm into you. 77. So we got a ways to go. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. So Brisker is going to be, for me, Brisker is safety two in this class. I mean, well, it's Kyle Hamilton and that's everyone else, right? All right so we got offered to move up. Yep. Screw it. I'm accepted. So uh, take a look at is Travis Jones still there. Shit. Chad Muma is still there. Shoot. Wide receiver wise. John Michi is still there. Calvin Austin. Sky Moore. Wandale. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful setup. We still haven't taken an interior offensive lineman yet. Kennard is still there. So do we go Kennard or Travis Jones? That's the question. All right. Even though Travis Jones is that dude, uh, I'm going to go with Kennard. There you go. Uh, so Vikings check that box into your offensive lineman. It was close. I mean, but Kennard is an absolute monster. All right, so we have an opportunity to move up and give up our sixth round pick. Uh, yeah, screw it. F those picks. Uh, Travis Jones, no, they're not there anymore. Uh, all right, so let's look at the big board. Zoom and enhance. Uh, Trey McBride is there, which is interesting. Ooh, Carol Lam. John Mechie's still there. I, uh, so how how many picks do we have left? I should keep count. All right, so we have a third round pick left because <laughs> uh, we're only doing three rounds. So we could certainly grab a wide receiver in the fourth, fifth round. But Calvin Austin is that guy. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll just take a wide receiver. Why not? Why not? We certainly could have double dipped at cornerback, but I I think we're pretty okay. And adding to the scenario, we sign James Daniels, because why the hell not? But Kennard, I mean, Kennard's tape from Kentucky, just dominant at, at times. At, at not, Kennard was a big reason why Kentucky had a little bit of success in the SEC this year. All right, so looking at our picks, zoom in and enhance. And, and remember, the scenario is the Vikings traded Kirkua Jerome Ezekiel Cousins to the Carolina Panthers for number six overall. We flipped six and um, some change to the Eagles for 15-16. And, yeah, we made a couple moves. So at 12, David Ojabo coming out of Michigan. I think that he's a guy that's going to have a lot more. Like his, He's just scratching the surface on his potential. Because remember, this year was really the only season he fully got the time of day because before he had Hutchinson and Quiddy pay, he's, he's got length. He can be a stand up outside linebacker. He really is in that Chandler Jones, that, uh, uh Odafe away type mold. So he's only going to get better and better and working with Mike Smith and Chris Rumpf, baby, let's go. Uh, then 15 missed out on sauce, but we took a chance because I, I liked, it, it was limited in terms of edge 
because there was a run on edge and we missed out on sauce, whatever. I like Trent McDuffie at 15, 16 to get in Kenny Pickett. So now you have Mariota as a bridge quarterback. You have Kenny Pickett as a first round pick. You have Kellen Mond as a third round pick. So that nice little soup, that nice little stew, jambalaya combo platter to replace Kirk Cousins. I'm okay with that. Uh, second round, uh, Jaquan Brisker. Harrison Smith is certainly aging out. Now, could Harrison play a little bit more of a hybrid linebacker safety type role? And of course, Cameron Bynum is going to be that guy, but also could he play in the slot as well? I think that uh, Brisker gives the Vikings an opportunity to be very versatile on the back end. Darren Kennard, plop him in as a starting guard right away. Also, in our scenario that we didn't cover, uh, maybe the Vikings sign a free agent or two on the offensive line with the cap savings of $35 million from Kirk Cousins being traded. I don't know. And then also, yeah, Kelvin Austin the third CA3 is going to be a steal day two in this draft. So I'm overall, I mean, if this is what went down, man, I'm pretty damn happy. I'm pretty damn excited uh, about what's going on. But your thoughts on our thoughts doing a three-round Vikings mock draft scenario. The Vikings trade Kirk Cousins to the Panthers. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production.